Well, just want to do a follow-up on the Crossman Nitro Piston 2. I think I've finally got it, got it conquered, if you will. Um, as you can see, uh, this second, this is the second gas ram. Crossman sent me another one about, I don't know, two months after I had this. It started losing about 50 feet a second, maybe more. It lost, uh, it made it to where it was just like any other nitro piston. Um, and that's really not what I bought. I wanted something about 20 foot pounds or more. It, it wasn't super heavy like the Trail XL or like a Magnum. And, uh, so they sent me a new gas ram or replacement ram and it's held up pretty well. I, um, I gotta say I'm impressed with that. The, uh, some of the other things I did, uh, for... On eBay, there's a guy that sells these NPS, Remington NPS triggers. It's the same trigger. Um, and and it's basically a, uh, it has a couple of shims to where you keep your trigger from moving side to side. And it's a lighter trigger spring you replace there. And he puts the sandpaper in there too where you can sand the sears. And wherever the metal touch and grinds, you can sand that to where it's a lot smoother. I've finally gotten used to this trigger. Finally. Um... With the aftermarket, you don't get the first stage back. Like, you pull it back to right there, and it don't pop back like that. It just kind of stays there. So, I mean, it, that's probably why Crossman didn't make them that way. It's probably a liability. Um, I had to really work with getting this barrel shimmed properly. I had to uh, really wrestle and get some, some good ones in there. And uh, so yeah, I finally, I'm finally comfortable with the barrel staying in one place. The uh, really the only other mentionable thing I could do, I mean, I took this gun all apart, and uh, they said they spent a million dollars on research and development on this thing, and I, I, I tend to believe it, man, because uh, I've tried this same gas ram in a lot of other guns, and it don't do what it does in this one. I mean, that piston especially made for a backwards gas ram. And the cocking effort and just everything uh, was really. Uh, I wish uh, maybe if somebody's listening from Crossman, if 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 y'all could please put out a deluxe version of this, you know, with a nice walnut stock, American style stock, you know, traditional, and a uh, a nice trigger. I mean, just that alone. And, and bring the scope reel all the way back, man. I, I had to get a special scope that had a longer hour relief just because the scope reel isn't back here where it is, where it needs to be. <clears throat> and uh, other than that, I would experiment around like if I had just a a, a piece of lead that was that was bendable, like a sheet of lead, I, I would take about three ounces and try to clamp it around here to see if that settles down the you know makes it more accurate it's just a little bit too light out here and I think that messes up the harmonics of the gun other than that I mean if you just did those things it would be a $300 gun I mean you could price it at $300 and we'd still buy it but anyway um I don't feel like walking out there, but that far target out there, I finally got this gun consistent enough. The barrel's finally seasoned now. Um, shit, it's been since, what, August? Uh, the the holes out there, the group's probably, there's five shots in a place of, I don't know, inch and a half, which is a lot better than I've been able to do. Um, when I first started out, the gun hated these things, these Walmart Crossman Premieres. But I ended up getting some the other day just to chronograph stuff and uh, had a notion to try it through here again. And, and all of a sudden, well, the gun has decided it loves them, I guess. Anyway, happy holidays. It's about 70 degrees down here in Texas, mid-December. Benjamin Nitro Piston 2. Uh, it's, 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 uh, I've had the plastic stock and the wood stock. They're both good. Uh, I, 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 I want to get the 177 barrel, or maybe even the whole 177 gun. It's It's been really cool. Um, it takes a little while to learn how to do it, but, uh, you know, even right out of the box, it was fine. I just, I'm a tuner, so I mess with stuff till I get it where I want it. 
it took a little while to get this one that way, and uh, but I wasn't going to give up because America needs a contender in the brake barrel arena. But yeah, happy holidays, y'all, and uh, see if y'all can get one of these. The price is down like to I've seen it as low as 188 on Midway.